Hi, uh, my name is Laruto. I'm from Tibet, from east part of Tibet, Amdo. Uh, this is my first film. Uh, yes, that's it. I'm Donald Coleman. I'm Finnish Irish. And uh, yeah, I've done a few films before. It's our first film together called The Gesar Bard's Tale. And it's about storyteller of Tibet's national Gesar epic. Do you want to add something to that? Uh, like, um, I mean, for, for, for me, although I've, I've done films before of uh, Tibetan culture, Gesar was something totally new for me and I heard from Larizzo. Larizzo introduced this subject. Where did you, where did you get this idea to make this? Uh, it's not really idea. I grew up with this culture, and uh, when I was small, my grandparents often tell me those all of story. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, that's why I have dream. If one day, if I want to make something, film, I, I would like to make Gesar King Gesar story. That's why I met him, his filmmaker. I told him, would you like to join join me to make this film? Okay. It's okay, then we start. Yeah. Now, for me, it was a really, really kind of amazing journey of discovery the whole Gesar culture. Um, like like the bards of, of Gesar, the way some of them get the epic through dreams and visions is really quite extraordinary. And, and the whole kind of um, richness of the mythical world of Gesar, which I think in the West it's surprising how little known this is. I mean, it's like one of the kind of, you could say, literary masterpieces of humanity, maybe. Um, although it's, it's, it's more of an oral storytelling tradition. So when we were researching the film, we met a few of these different kind of arts. And there's so many different traditions. Some learn it from generation to generation. Uh, there, there's one type called the Joppa who um, sees it in a copper mirror, just like watching TV and tells the story. And then the kind of bar that our film tells about is um, called a Bokrun, and he has a vision or a dream. Um, this is more European tradition, I think. <laughs> and, and, and that's how he gets access to this epic that just starts coming out, out um, in old literary Tibetan, um, out of this guy who's like an illiterate nomad, basically, with, with, with no education. And this is something that occurs in Tibet, it's like a tradition. It's not a freak occurrence. So it was something like amazing, fascinating. So I was very grateful to to um, be introduced into this world and, and to work with it over many years and get to know it. Yeah, I think the whole world of people think of some mysterious stuff uh, from Tibet or Tibetan. But Gesar, uh, Gesar, this. Uh, story is come from quite a mysterious way. People mm -hmm. had a dream or whatever. But uh, I don't want to show this side because I don't want to improve mysterious stuff. I just want to improve. Uh, Tibetan have beautiful poetry, a beautiful story, a beautiful words. I like to uh, show the world people c uh, could uh, enjoy those uh, uh, beautiful story, beautiful po poetry. Poems. Yeah, that's what I like to uh, show this, this film. Yes. Yeah. For me, uh, usually I don't like to go some festival because somehow get get bored. Uh, somehow this film festival quite warm, and I feel very relaxed. Uh, nice people, and just lovely. Thank you. I enjoy it. I think it's great. I mean, we we only had the opportunity of being here for three days, but it's really. I mean, I really enjoy it a lot, and I'm I'm really sorry actually. Tomorrow we have to go go back. Um, yeah, I mean this 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 opening party and Tarot was really nice, and uh, yeah, it's 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 really nice. The films I've seen so far are, are really interesting, good good films also. So um, I I really hope I can come back soon and stay for the whole festival. <laughs>